Using the authority Congress granted the Department of Education, we will forgive $10,000 in outstanding federal student loans. In addition, students who come from low-income families, which allowed them to qualify to receive a Pell Grant, will have their debt reduced $20,000. On August 24th, 2022, Joe Biden announced his student debt forgiveness plan, which is supposed to give $10,000 of relief to 43 million Americans and provide more breathing room to them. More than 3,400 years ago, the Israelites began the tradition of the Year of the Jubilee, which was a year of celebration that involved release from all types of bondage and debt. As a Catholic, it might be in Biden's mind to take after the Israelites in a Jubilee year nonetheless, but you need to know exactly what he plans to do and how Israel did it better thousands of years ago. The laws in Leviticus instructed the Israelites on how to follow God and turn away from their ways that they had learned in Egypt. One of those laws involved the year of the Jubilee. Jubilee means ram's horn in Hebrew. Every seven years, a new cycle would begin in the way of life of the Jews, and every seven cycles, they would have a celebration. After seven times seven, 49 years, the ram's horn would be blown to mark the start of the 50th year, a year of redemption. The land shall not be sold in perpetuity, for the land is mine, for you are strangers and sojourners with me. And in all the country you possess, you shall allow a redemption of the land. All prisoners and captives were set free, all slaves were released, all debt was forgiven, and all borrowed property would be returned to its rightful owner. Also, all labor stopped for the entire year. You want to know what that would look like today in America? There are, as of 2020, 5.5 million people in the adult correctional population and 1.2 million prisoners in the U.S. All of them would be released and pardoned. There were also at least hundreds of thousands of people in forced labor around the U.S. too. It's another number that can't really be pinned down, but it could be in the millions. Modern slavery takes the form of human trafficking, and there are untold millions of people affected by it around the country. Somewhere around 10 million. All of these people would be freed from that burden. The U.S. national debt is approaching $31 trillion. Mortgages are also $11.2 trillion. Student loans are $1.6 trillion and credit card debt and auto loan debt are 1 and 1.4 trillion each. All of those numbers would suddenly be zero, which would mean that lenders wouldn't get any more money for the loans they handed out, but the lessees wouldn't be burdened with payments either. All property would be returned to its rightful owner. If you own a house, you'd keep it, but if you're paying off a mortgage, your mortgage would be forgiven, you'd get back your money, and the house would go back to the bank. There would be no labor for a year. That means the most prolific, prosperous country on earth would give up work for the entire year, 365 days. Talk about crazy, right? Every 50 years, these things would happen again if we were some kind of modern-day Israel. So this would have happened four times already, and we'd be approaching the fifth one soon. Now that you know the full scope of the Jubilee, you can understand how just about anything that Joe Biden would propose would fall short of that. But now that leads me to the man himself. This plan has three parts, but really only one that anybody cares about. Cancel $10,000 worth of student loans for anybody that's under a certain income level, and an additional $10,000 if you're a recipient of the Pell Grant. If you make under $125,000, you get $10,000 knocked off your student debt. If you make under $125,000 a year and you received a Pell Grant, you'll get an additional $10,000 knocked off that total for a total of $20,000 relief. 95% of the borrowers can benefit from these actions. That's 43 million people. You also won't have to start repaying loans until the beginning of next year. In just one aspect of the year of the Jubilee, all debt is forgiven, completely forgiven, and it's not passed on to anybody else. Nobody else pays for it, it's just gone. On the other hand, the largest aspect of the Biden plan, canceling $10,000 worth of student loans for 43 million Americans, would have a price tag of $430 billion, and that just doesn't get washed away by God. That gets put on the taxpayers. You and me. We can't expect this plan to work exactly like the Jubilee did. It's a different scenario. The Jubilee wiped away all debt. This doesn't wipe away all debt. It just changes who pays for it. I'm not expecting the U.S. to suddenly forgive all debts, contracts, or bondages, but even if we could, I wouldn't look to the Bible as an authority on that. There's many Christians and many non-Christians alike who kind of misinterpret the Bible and assume that the Old Testament still applies to us now. If that's you, you need to understand that the Old Testament doesn't apply to us nowadays, not even the Ten Commandments, and you need to watch this video to figure out exactly why. I'll see you next time.